are coming to you from Safari Niagara in our first ever online Zooniversity show. My name is Melissa. And my name is Tom. And we brought with us some of our amazing animal ambassadors for you guys to see here today. So sit back. Buckle up. And enjoy our presentation. University, we're going to show you a very cool reptile. In fact, his name is Kool Aid, and he is a blue tongue skink. Come on out, Kool Aid. Hey, there you are. Hello, Kool Aid. So, blue tongue skinks, very interesting thing about them. These guys here, you can't find them anywhere here in Canada. These guys range within parts of Indonesia and New Guinea. Now, how they get their name? Well, is their, of course their lovely blue tongue. Now, this blue tongue is actually a defense mechanism. So these guys, again, over in the area that they're from, they're actually considered one of the scariest animals in the forest. It's all because of that lovely blue tongue. There are animals out there in the wild that are brightly colored that are considered poisonous. That bright coloration is a warning to stay away. Now, of course, the animals do not come with signs saying, I'm not really poisonous, because he's not. Otherwise, Tom here <laughs> would be in trouble, seeing that he is holding him Jeez. with his bare <laughs> hands. Yeah, that would not end well, would it? No, no there goes no that blue tongue. Yeah. So, now he, in fact, is what we call a mimicker. So he mimics a poisonous animal. It's like biggest faker out there, a poser, a liar. It's all about pretending to be something you're not out there in the animal kingdom, whatever helps you to survive. So if I am a predator and I'm feeling hungry and ooh, you kind of look good, I think I'm gonna eat you. What they literally do is stand there and do this, bleh, and stick out their blue tongue. All right, so now that predator is gonna go, ew, I don't wanna eat you, you're not good for me, because again, they do not know if they're poisonous or not, and taking risks out there in the wild sometimes is not a good thing. So these guys also have a very interesting look to them. If you have a good look, you can see that Kool-Aid here, he has a nice, thick, long body, and then these teeny, tiny, little, stubby legs which gives them a lot of character, I think. Now these guys, when they walk, they have to actually throw themselves from side to side. So it actually looks like, when they're doing it, it looks like they're slithering like a snake. Now over in Indonesia and New Guinea, there are also venomous snakes over there. A lot of vegetation, and people oftentimes mistaken these guys for those venomous snakes. They will get rid of the venomous snakes at any cost necessary, fearing harm for others. And unfortunately, due to mistaken identity, they don't see the small legs right away, they will get rid of these guys at any cost necessary. So that is actually one problem that the blue tongue skink is having. Another problem is what we caught our grass with, the lawnmower. So these guys, not only do they like to eat fruits and veggies, which by the way guys, is very good for you, especially the veggies, um, but they also eat things like insects, small rodents, as well as snails. Sometimes people, again over in Indonesia and New Guinea, will use these guys in their gardens to get rid of the snails. And this is where they oftentimes come into contact with lawnmowers. Defense mechanism is to stand there and stick out their blue tongue. Lawnmowers are not afraid of that. Now, these guys also have had a problem with pet trade. What the pet trade is, is that there are people out there that will take these guys right straight from the wild and either sell them as pets or keep them as pets. Which is a problem because if we're taking them from the wild, their population then will decrease. Everything that they eat, especially those rodents, will increase. And then we're having problems like with, ro with rodents especially, as well as other insects, they do damage farmers' crops. So these guys are very vital to their ecosystems.
guys, I hope you enjoyed learning all about the blue tongue skink, and we hope to catch you here next time at Safari Niagara University.